We moved into our home in November of 2010. In December of 2011, on the 6th, I flushed the toilet and the water was a dark gray. It, it just was not the same color as it should have been. And I asked my husband what he thought was going on and he had no idea. So we had never had a well. We were always on town water prior to that, so we didn't really know what was going on. So we contacted several people, asked them, and different people had different advice. Oh, let your water run for a while and see what if it clears up. And oh, maybe it was this or maybe it was that. Well, a couple weeks later, it still wasn't clearing up. So I contacted the township building in our area to see if anybody else in our town was having problems. And the guy that I talked to said no, but I would recommend calling the gas company that's drilling and fracking in the area. So he gave me a number to call. I called them. They came out. They didn't seem to know what was going on either. Uh, our well was actually erupting, we had realized at that point. There was a great big circle around our well head where the grass was just laid flat from the pressure of the water hitting the grass. A great big circle, and you could see it, it would hiss and the water would spray out all over. The, you know, it was very high pressure. The WPX Energy came out. They looked at it, didn't know what was going on. They, they said they'd send the DEP out. The DEP called and asked if I wanted to open an investigation, and I said yes. And so then they came, tested our water, and he said that he thought what was happening was a methane bubble was coming in underneath the water level into our well and it was building up pressure and building up and building up and building up and then when we would turn on our faucet or something it would kick the pump on and the pump would stir up the water and allow that bubble to work its way up and out and in the meantime it would force water out with it. Uh, another guy was also sent by the gas company from Resource Environmental. They came out with a wand and they did an air quality test in our home. When they went over by the faucet and Immediately his alarm went off. He told me that we couldn't use our kitchen stove because we have a propane stove so it would be open flames near the faucet. And no, no. He said it would cause a flash fire, possibly. Um, he said that our levels were so high that the utility companies and stuff would have to be notified. He told us our bathroom was so small and a contained space that when we were showering or whatever, we should keep our bathroom window open, the door open, and the fan going to suck the methane out. And whatever you do, don't smoke in the shower. Obviously, that's not something you would do. We were concerned about our house blowing up at that point. So we would run the water all the time because we figured that would keep the pressure off the bubble in the well. It would keep the pump going and that way it would just keep churning it in the well and, and the gas would bleed out gradually rather than a huge amount building up in there. But what we weren't thinking about was that we were bringing all the methane into the house by doing that. My granddaughter's bedroom is right above our kitchen faucet and from the time we began having problems with our water to the time our well was vented and they put the water buffalo in, she would wake up mornings and vomit right off the bat. No other symptoms. She didn't have a fever. She didn't throw up after that. But I think because of the fact that she was in the bedroom all night long breathing this in, it was making her nauseous. We never put two and two together until after we got the buffalo and it stopped. It just completely stopped. And then we thought, oh my god, we were probably poisoning her by leaving the faucet running. But we didn't know what to do because you don't know if your house is going to blow up if you don't. You, you don't know what to do. So March of 2012 they came in. Chemo was called because we were so close to the road and our methane levels had doubled from the first set of tests to two months later when they did the second set of water tests. Our methane levels went from 38.9 milligrams per liter to 58.4 milligrams per liter in a two-month period. The ethane levels went up dramatically. And being that our well is so close to a main road, HEMA was called in because they were concerned that while the levels in our well 
were too rich to explode in the well that once that methane seeped out towards the road, if a car were to backfire going by, if there was an accident, if somebody threw out a cigarette butt, something could happen, it could cause an explosion. And so Pima was called, DEP requested that the gas company assist the families in some way. So they came and they put water buffaloes in, they put vent stacks on our wells, they did water testing. They said they were being good neighbors. That was their thing. They wanted to help us because they were being good neighbors. The DEP conducted a 16-month investigation, which the gas company was actually the ones that did the investigative work, from what I understand, from what I'm told, because the DEP's funding was cut, so they couldn't afford to do the necessary testing one way or the other, so they required WPX Energy to do whatever investigative testing that was supposed to be done. Again, that's what I'm, I'm told. And we got a determination letter in April saying that they couldn't blame the gas company at this time for our water problems. So that was in April and they still continued delivering water to us until September, I think, 25th. And then they quit water deliveries and we were on our own for water. So Craig Stevens has a water hydrant and Ray Kemble has a truck and so we're able to get water deliveries still through donations and whatnot. Uh, now they want to pull the water buffaloes out and apparently our lawyer has agreed to let them pull the water buffaloes out. And we had a restraining order against them, an injunction to keep them off the property. We're looking at the paperwork now and it looks like he's withdrawn the injunction to keep them off the property. So we don't have any idea what we're doing now. It's day to day. Because we bathed in it for probably, what was it, four months? From the time our problem started to the time we got a water buffalo, we had to use that water. It's the middle of winter. I can't go down and jump in the creek and take a bath in, in January and February. When you showered in the water, you'd feel dizzy. It'd make you choke, cough, gag while you're in the shower from the fumes coming out of the shower. And we had so much gas that they told us, when you shower, must leave your bathroom door open. Open your window. Have your fan running. Make a quick, short shower, and whatever you do, don't smoke in there because of the amount of gas that was coming in. DEP was here to take meter readings of our faucets with the water running. We even had carbon monoxide coming out of our hot water faucet, which that's just not normal to have carbon monoxide coming out of your water faucet. It's, you know, out of a, a, a malfunctioning furnace or something, yeah, but not your hot water. And there was so much methane in the water that inside that hot water heater, when that water's heated, the byproduct is carbon monoxide. When the DEP guys did the test, the two of them were in there and they were like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? And they both said that's the first they've ever seen carbon monoxide coming out of the faucet. There's also very high levels of barium, chloride, aluminum, iron, total dissolved solids a lot of different things in high levels, unnatural levels. I don't know what impacted our water. All I know is it was right after the gas drillers were in here and it's too much of a coincidence that three homes all of a sudden become contaminated right after gas drilling and fracking and stuff. They say it's from flooding. We're at the intersection of two creeks. We've flooded for hundreds of years in this area. All of a sudden gas drilling comes in, our water's contaminated. They said it's our pump that's broken that's causing it. Well, the neighbors don't have broken pumps. And one of the neighbors lives 30 feet higher in elevation, so don't blame flooding because that's not the case with all of them. You know, there's got to be one common denominator, and that's the gas drilling in the area. That's it. first had the problems we went to a township meeting 
And we were asked by the town officials to come and speak at the, the meeting to let people know what was going on, and we did that. And the very next day, we were attacked by all the neighboring landowners with wells on their properties. They started this group called Franklin Citizens for Truth. They started attacking us, calling us lunatics, and we're just crazy, and uh, you always had bad water. No, well, not one of those people had ever stepped foot into my house before. So don't sit there and tell me that you always had bad water, which I can't really say that I didn't have the best water in the world because I never had pre-drilled tests done. But I do know that I didn't have the gas in my water until December 6th. And all of a sudden, I've got massive amounts of gas that was not there. Just a matter of days from the drilling up here behind us. I'm just tired of people harassing us and calling us crazy. And the only people that do harass us are the ones that have well pads on their properties. It's like they feel threatened that you're going to stand in the way of their royalties and their money because you have problems. So nobody ever went into it from the beginning blaming anybody or nothing. And it's just the very next day after that meeting, and that meeting was all on film. Nobody harassed the town supervisors. They asked us to come, and all we did was state the facts. We had two different tests from the DEP at that point, and we went in there and said, look, this is what we got. This is what we got two months later. Our levels had doubled. You know, that's not natural for it to just keep going up. There's a cause to make that methane level. And we're not talking just 5% methane. I was up to 58.9 milligrams per liter. And God only knows what it is now. It could be worse because the DEP hasn't been back in to do any water test in a year and a half. So who knows where we're at now? We could be even higher yet. How would you like it if your home's value went from $110,000 to zero like that? I can't run it. I can't sell it. If you or I were to drive your car down the road, lose control, and drive through the middle of someone's house and destroy it, you're liable to pay for the damages. So why should any of these gas companies not have to own up to what's going on? Any other situation and you cause property damage to someone's home, you're liable for it. You're going to pay for it or your insurance or whatever else. So why is it any different? If you screw up someone's life and their property value, Someone's got to be held accountable. And that's not happening in Pennsylvania. So we requested the information from the DP. We said, all right, I want to see every bit of your science to see where you guys come up with that decision. If you're so sure of yourselves that the gas company isn't the fault, let's see your science behind it. They won't let anybody see the science behind it. We filed a request to know we were denied. We were denied not just from the DEP, we were denied from Governor Tom Corbett himself. Denied it. If you're so sure of yourself, of your science, and your decision, lay it on the line. Let the other side look at it. How about letting some scientists look at it? Let's see your, your science behind it, you know what I mean? one thing it's costing me more money just to heat my water supply outside that I didn't have to heat before it was in my basement I never had to worry about it freezing I didn't have to heat it especially to keep it from freezing now we got to heat it the water buffalo's got to be heated we have to bring water every day because the gas company's not doing that anymore they want to hook us back up to our wells which over my dead body my well will never be hooked back up so I won't use it I'm not going to hook up a toxic source to my house.